Did you know when your BB leaves the barrel, it is actually defying gravity? Stay tuned, because you are going to learn something today. Welcome to the second episode of Airsoft Physics with Fabi. Today we are going to talk about your hop-up system or the Magnus effect. Before we talk about the Magnus effect, I want to make sure that you all know why we actually need it. And that's why I want to talk first about gravity and how it works. So, what is gravity? Gravity makes things fall to the ground. It makes this pen fall to the ground. It makes this calculator fall to the ground. It makes this knife fall to the ground. And it also can make your wallet fall to the ground and then it's gone. But this also brings us to our today's sponsor, Exta. Exta is a brand new startup company and it wants to bring the smartest wallet to you. The Parliament wallet is a premium leather smart wallet, perfect for slim storage and quick card access. The built-in aluminium card folder fans out your cards at the click of a button and protects them against them. But one of the best features is when you add the tracker to it. Not that it is only trackable worldwide, but it's also solar powered to make sure you never run out of power. And the best feature is, you can not only track your wallet with your phone, but also you can track your phone with your wallet. If you want to get your own smart wallet and tracker, check out the links in the video description. There is also a discount code for you guys. And a big thanks again to Extra for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to Airs of Physics. So, gravity works the same on our BBs. If the BB leaves your barrel, it will travel through the air and it will eventually fall to the ground. But there is one really, really special thing and that's what we are going to talk right now. First of all, gravity works the same on all objects. The G on Earth is about 9.81 meters per second squared. Now that we know the acceleration of the gravity and how it works onto an object, we need to know how long the object takes from a given height, like in our case, if you shoot your BB, you can calculate from about 5 feet or 1.5 meters. How to calculate the time an object needs from one and a half meters until it hits the ground. And there's an equation for that and it looks like this. Time equals whatever that means in English. Weight divided by half g. And if you see this equation, you should already be surprised. Exactly. No mass is going into this equation. What does that mean? It means every object takes the same time to fall from a given height. And I have an experiment for that prepared, if you don't believe me. So let's go outside and I show you what I mean. We are outside now and I'm going to show you the first experiment of today. And for that I brought two balls and the only difference on these balls is the weight. So we got one with one kilo and one with three kilos. So this is three times heavier than this one. And I'm going to show you how gravity on two different weight objects work. I'm pretty sure you could have seen it, but let's check out the slow-mo and let's go back into the studio. Now that you have seen that gravity works on every object the same, regardless of its weight, what is the next step you can think of? Exactly, the BB weight doesn't matter. BBs always take the same time to fall to the ground. So, 
Let's calculate that. We said we're shooting from a height of 1.5 meters divided by half g 0 0.55 seconds. If you shoot a BB out of your gun at a height of 1.5 meters, it will hit the ground after 0 0.55 seconds. And that's not a lot. So, what is gravity doing? Gravity is pulling our BB down. Now that we know a BB takes about 0 0.55 seconds to hit the ground, our goal is to extend this time to make the BB fly further. So, what is a way to achieve that? Exactly, it is the Magnus effect. And what is the Magnus effect in general? In general, it means we are turning our BB in this direction, so backwards, to generate a push force into the air below the BB and as a reaction, according to Newton's third law, there is a force pushing the BB up. The Magnus force is working against our g-force, which pulls our BB down. And this force is not only used in airsoft, you can widely see it in different ball sports like table tennis, where they use it for top spins, or tennis for these backspin balls, or soccer. If the players give the ball a spin to the left or to the right, and you can see it results into a curveball. So this phenomenon is nothing new and is not only related to airsoft. Airsoft manufacturers just saw how this force works, applied this into an airsoft rifle, and we can shoot a lot better since then. Now that we know how the Magnus force is generated, there is another thing you need to think about, and this is the spin will decay over the travel. What this means in general is we are applying a lot of spin at the start of our shot. The curve of the BB will look something like this. It will go up until it drops to the ground because the ball is spinning slower and slower and slower and slower until the g-force gets bigger than the Magnus force and pulls the BB down again. To achieve more range, you can basically just add more Magnus force, but this will result in a curve more looking like that. Have fun trying to shoot somebody with this kind of BB curve. So the goal for your hop up adjustment is to get as flat as possible trajectory. Now that we know how the Magnus force applies to our BB, it's time to calculate the Magnus force. And the equation for the Magnus force looks like this. Fm equals Cl, which is the lift coefficient, which we will talk soon, multiplied by the air density, multiplied by the velocity of the projectile squared and multiplied by the square area of the object. What does this equation now tell us? It tells us the Magnus force will be bigger if we raise the surface area of the BB, so make the BB bigger. Bigger object makes a lot more Magnus force. How fast the projectile is moving squared which is even more important. So the faster your BB travels, the more Magnus force it produces. Air density is, depending on where you live, pretty much the same if you're not shooting your BBs on Mount Everest. And the lift coefficient. And the lift coefficient is quite hard to explain and not as easy to calculate, but all you need to know about the lift coefficient is that it is basically a ratio of 
the spin of the BB and the actual speed of the BB. So with this equation we will be able to calculate our Magnus force at any given time of the BB's travel if we would know how fast it spins. If we are now talking about different weight BBs. Why do you think a heavier weight BB needs more spin than a lightweight BB? As we learned in episode 1 of the Airship Physics show, we learned that on the same energy a lighter weight BB will travel a lot faster. So the faster BB already has an advantage in the Magnus force just because its speed. So it needs a lot less spin to get the same Magnus force as say a way heavier BB which is shot with a lot less speed. In case you're wondering how fast a BB needs to spin to nullify the gravity force it is around 130,000 RPM. This spin is the spin you guys are always putting onto your BBs with your hop up. So 130,000 revolutions per minute, which means it turns 130,000 times in one minute. Now that we have talked a lot about the Magnus effect, you could think if I just produce enough Magnus force, my BB will fly forever. But we have talked about that on the last episode already. There is another force that affects our BB and it's called drag. And drag not only affects the speed of the BB, but it also affects the spin of the BB. So drag will reduce the spin of your BB over time, which results in again the BB will hit the ground eventually. Also, something very important to mention before we end this video. Your hop-up rubber will not give you more range just because it's a different rubber. If you want more range, you need more Magnus Force, aka you need more spin. If your hop-up rubber already gives your BB enough spin to get use of the Magnus Force, there is no reason to change to another rubber for range. The only thing that hop-up rubbers really change is how consistent they are putting the spin onto a PV. The goal for your hop-up is actually to bring consistent spin onto the PV as long as it is able to get enough RPM onto the PV. So, a quick summary what we have learned today. First of all, we learned every object is affected by gravity and every object is affected by gravity at the same amount. So, every object needs the same time to fall down from a given height. <clears throat> and the second thing we learned today is about the actual Magnus effect, which is a force working against gravity created by the backspin that our hop-up puts onto our BB. I hope you learned a lot today again and I can't wait for the next episode of the Airsoft Physics Show where we finally talk about the invisible world or called drag. My name is Fabi and I see you guys on the next one.